this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean the easy to clean chicken coop. Um, so I'm just going to kind of run through the process that I use here to clean this out and how all the cleaning tray works and all that good stuff. Um, and uh, it's a little windy out here so I'll probably just throw some music up to the, to the process and let you watch along. actually inside the coop so it's a little cramped in here but um, I, one of the things I kind of expected was might be an issue is these these uh, poultry nipples here when the chickens drink out of them they they do drop water uh, most of the water falls into that clean out tray into the wood shavings and kind of gets soaked up and evaporates or whatever it's not a big issue but some of it's been falling between the cracks in the tray and the and the coop here and I can see some water getting in the um, into the particle board and stuff like that. Um, probably won't be an issue short term, but long term, that's going to end up rotting that out. So, I have a piece of a an old um, inflatable pool toy of some sort that popped, and I think it was some type of a flotation deal. And um, I just saved some strips of the uh, whatever this is vinyl, and so I'm going to kind of staple that up in here um, to kind of direct the water into the tray so it doesn't get back you know in between this crack here so that's what I'm going to be putting in here chickens like it uh, they like to scratch through all the new uh, soft stuff in here so um, that's pretty much the process we use to clean the coop um, it does take about 30 minutes to clean it out and so far I'm averaging probably three times a year uh, I'm gonna clean it out maybe four times a year so I'm talking about you know less than two hours a year you're gonna spend cleaning the thing out which is pretty decent um, I am using some scrap uh, paper in here, shredded paper. We're only using like construction paper or newspaper or stuff that's safe for compost um, and in case the chickens decide they want to try to eat it, which is possible. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the, pretty much the process. It is, it is pretty easy to clean. The, the cleaning tray works awesome. And uh, 
the chicken watering system's been working great, and the feeder and everything's been uh, been working really good. So we've been happy with it. So I just thought I'd kind of show the process. Um, since I did claim it was an easy to clean chicken coop, I figured I would uh, put my money where my mouth is with it. So uh, if you have any questions, please throw them down in the comment section. Any uh, things to add or any other things maybe I missed or I could do to make it even easier, that would be awesome. Throw some suggestions down below as well. Hit thumbs up on the video. I always appreciate that. And uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll be uh, updating you guys on the chicken coop and aquaponics and other sustainable stuff that we have going on around the, 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 t the little suburban homestead here. So we always appreciate uh, you guys following along. So subscribe to the channel if you can. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.